everybody's in. Is everybody in? Inside. Emmett, you're Alex. Uh, no, no. You are your Indian man, Alex. Well, this is the first tree I will break down. Because these first trees are so big. Are we going to wait for... Are we get, just going to... Just go, I guess. Welcome to Garrett Craft Season 2. As one season ends, another season begins. And for those of you who don't know what Garrett Craft is, it's just a fun survival world just to chill out with some friends, have some rivalries, and make some cool bases. But it's not like a 100 days world or a hardcore world. Also, I want to upload more consistently than I previously did, maybe every two to six weeks, as opposed to leaving you with like every two to three months. By the way, if you remember last season, Emmett, his username is now India Man. Oh, okay, Emmett, I see why you want to live here. This is actually super cool. Yes, and it's my spot. And, yeah. Oh, yeah, my I'm... God, why is there only there? Uh, who, I hear someone eating, and whoever it is, they need to go away. I, have I know, it was me, because I'm, I'm going towards the mountain. It was me, Emmett. Okay, I, when I'm on, I'm only getting dare right. It's literally, I have only mine dare right. So why I want a mountain base, by the way, is because this whole Caves and Cliffs Part 2 is brand new to me. I've never played it in survival before, and the only time I've really seen it in creative, well, I saw it on opening day, and then also when I was finding the seed for this world, but that's it. So this is all new to me, all the new caves, all the new mountains, everything. Complete mystery. Back in my day, we didn't have icy mountains with peaks. We lived on hardened rocks. Oh, but in all seriousness, this is awesome with the different snow, the different ice mix-ins. This is like something you would build in creative mode. Oh my gosh, okay, this is what I'm here for. Look at this view. Look, plus this is level 133, which is about as high as I used to go in uh, Caves and Cliffs Part 1 and anything before that. Now, they go so much higher, which I think is crazy. I'm not even at the peak of this mountain. This is one of the shortest mountains I think that's in the update based on what I've seen so far. But we gotta get some coal, because, you know, we need some materials. We don't even have stone yet, I don't think. So we need some coal for torches and etc. all that things and stuff. I think we should get a better view on this mountain, though, before we decide to settle here or not. So let's just get up this peak, and let's look around. And, okay, look at this view. Okay, this is where we're gonna settle, on this mountain for our starter base. It will be 100% fully awesome no doubt about it <gasps> no it's powdered snow how did i get out i'm gonna die ah wait i sound like an old grandpa once again powdered snow song i've never experienced before no powdered snow again ah okay i've decided that this sucks I mean, just look at me. I'm dying over here. I can. I cannot die. Okay, let's let's get out of let's get out of this mess. We're so close. Okay, so I think the the melting the I, the ice effect will go away. Okay, it did. So we should be safe. Let's just make sure we don't fall in any more of this stuff. You know. No. Hey, look at that! It's a cute little arctic fox. They don't drop meat, do they? No, they don't drop meat. Okay. I sh I probably should have been where you guys were for a little bit longer because there's no food here. I'm in the barren wastelands of the winter. Oh, Should I just die? Sure. Back to square. Hey, can one. I stay with you guys? Can I stay with you guys for the night? What? Can I stay with you guys for a little bit? For a little bit? It's oh, wait. I mean, the view I'm at has is not awesome. Uh, it's not awesome. Just poopy. Just a cheat. It's probably the nether rune, right? Yeah, did you go to that already? No, but I saw it in this. I saw it when I was looking for seeds. Because if you're going there, I will kill you with my sword. Oh, shoot. I'm stupid. I, I should have gone there. There's going to be loot in there. Can I see what it has in there? I won't take it. What? There. It has oh, boots, axe, uh, an obsidian, and a fire shirt. So is that gonna be is that gonna be a pub is is that gonna be a public portal? Probably because Oh we can make a portal. Oh we just made a portal Wait, did you really? Yeah. Yeah, legit. Let me see. 
now we'll clear we all the map the So that was actually really cool, but we gotta get back to doing some essentials. Some stuff we didn't do last time, such as making stone tools, making a furnace, making coal, which I we did mine last time, but we don't have coal available right now. Collecting that coal, now cooking some meat, because we did not have food when we were on the mountain. All these essentials we did not think about are coming into play now, and we found some coal, so look at that. And of course, this is all in preparation for something we have not yet done, the mining trip into the cave, and at night is the best time to be doing it. Is this first monster? So now that we've got some iron, we should be trying to get diamonds. And that ravine, since it's so deep down there, that's where we've got to get going. I think I saw some. Did you guys see that diamonds? If, 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 well, diamonds are always great, but you don't really want less than one, you know? Well, I mean, I mean, you don't really want just one, but I, I, I'd, I'd still be grateful, but that's like the ultimate lull. So we got to get some iron cooking to make some iron pickaxes so we can mine those diamonds. And if we can get some other iron tools along the way, like this iron sword, that's great. And a shield. I don't know. You never know what'll happen with those monsters. But I'm not the greatest at using shields. I, I, I always forget to use them. Always. I have a shield, and I never end up using it. But, yep, that's some diamonds I see down there. But there's also a slime. So you've got to kill this slime. And then, once we kill these slimes, I think we'd be safe enough to get the diamonds right here. So, are you? Are you kidding there is no way. That's one vein. I'm done. I'm done. I almost gave up, but I chose not to. And great timing, because I almost was. I I was almost 100% gonna leave now. But after under this lava vein, I found diamonds. But I I'm gonna be so mad if this is a one. Okay, we've already got two. So let's just hope for as many as we possibly can. Three would be great. Two's fine. We can still make a pickaxe. Five, we could make a pick. Okay, there's there. That's good. That's four. Let's go. Five. We can make a pickaxe and a sword. And now that we're back up at the top, we can. Well, we could make those things, or we could keep them hidden because I don't trust some people. <laughs> Just want to point out how beautiful this lake is. This isn't even, even an ocean. This is just the caves and cliffs. Ordinary lake. L look at this thing. Look at it. So I decided it was time. I'm just going to make like a little camp right here. I got to hide my diamonds in this chest. Just, you know, make some extra chests for the non-diamond stuff. Um, I also want to play some trapdoors. Except the only thing about trapdoors, like it gives a little sense of decoration. But they're still not, they're still kind of ugly. Um, and yeah, so I also need a bed. Of course it's got to be purple because that's the only color of wool I could make and I had to like combine colors I couldn't do white so that's what we had and now it's moving day again for the first well I guess it's the first time but we're gonna be moving probably several times I want to get back up to that mountain eventually though if my memory doesn't fail me my chest with the diamonds should be right here I'm not finding it though that's not good well let's dig all, all this area and if I lost my diamonds okay if I lost my diamonds, I'm going to be so mad because that's going to take me a long time to find more. That was just, I think, luck. I think. I mean, I don't know how Caves and Cliffs works. There we go. What just happened? Our, our, we just crashed. Okay. Yay. We crashed. Woohoo. Oh, okay. There's the diamonds. I want to go check out Emmett's base, so let's go get in a call with him right now. Oh, Alex, you don't take Minecraft that seriously. That you didn't Come on, you can change it. I don't know how. Oh, I mean, there's literally a button. Oh, I see it. Oh, no, that's emote. Wait, emote for me. I want to see it. Uh, uh, 
Okay, where's my phone? Okay. Did you see it? Yeah. No, you you get you put on a skin and I'll emote again, okay? Put on a different skin other than Alex. I am. I'm trying to. You just emoted. You didn't put on a skin. That Emmett, that's emoting. That's not putting on a skin. Yeah, I am. <laughs> what skin in there, Ali? Alex. How about now? Alex. Alex. Oh. So you, it isn't emote. You keep clicking emote, yeah. Bed. I got a bed. Thanks for asking. Hey, where'd my mind go? It doesn't matter. Wait. Can I have that bed? No. I do the riches. I I know I only have five diamonds, Emmett. See? Look. I have five a diamond. diamonds. Five I will diamonds. kill you if you don't give me a diamond. <laughs> I go back. Go oh, to the diamonds. I know they're in there. Give me. No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You better be sorry. There's a zombie behind you. No, there's not. Hey. It's quite comical at this point. Every time we die, then we always come meet up with Emmett at his base, and then we go up the mountain. What's happening again? Is this some foreshadowing, possibly? This, this I think, is even the same mountain. Imagine we run into powdered snow again. I don't think so, but is this the same mountain? Yeah, I think it is, but we just got to set up our camp, take a look at the views. Yep, yeah, okay, this is the same mountain. But it's all snowy now, so, like, the view's kind of different, you know? But we just, we got to set up a camp. We got to put, the, just let people know it's my base. And I actually want to start getting on the starter base because I can't live with this much longer. So let's do that right now.
I've noticed for some reason that I've appeared as Steve in my time lapses. I gotta fix that, but I'm a very big fan of this starter base. It definitely beats the Shack from last season. And do you see this mountain? See, this is what I'm talking about. I've not seen the Caves and Cliffs really, but that mountain is massive. That goes like that looks like it goes up to like almost the height limit. But the height limits I know increased. I don't know exactly to what level. To finish my interior, I need some blocks from the Lush Cave, which I believe there should be a Lush Cave down there. Yep, you can kind of see it. I've never been in a Lush Cave in survival before, so this is all new. And I'm excited to see what blocks... I know kind of what the blocks are in here. See, I see... I knew that there were azaleas. I knew that... I did not know that there was going to be a lot of mobs like this. Oh, shoot. Okay. I, I don't even know if we can survive this, but let's try. I knew that there was moss. I knew that... Ugh, I hate skeletons. I'm, I'm going to die. Nope, nope, you are, you are not going to kill me. Okay. I love the fact that there's clay and the, the drip leaves are fine. The glow berries, I wouldn't really notice, but the clay, I love because I need bricks for my interior. Well, I need bricks, one for my interior and two for another. I might need it for later projects. And this is my way to get it. This is my surefire way of getting bricks. So I'm a fan of this. So we got a fair amount of clay. I almost died there for a second, though, which would have been very bad. But I want to, again, check up on the progress that Emmett's been making with his base. And I actually think that Lining Terror is sharing the base with Emmett now. Okay, you can't say anything about my base. I just saw your base. Okay, yeah, you cannot be saying anything about my base. No, I can't say things because you don't have an overhang. We, are, we have an angle over yet. Okay, look, look, you cannot, you, okay. The interior is cozy, but this you exterior. Have no, no. Our entire thing is just going to be based on expanding. We're not. We're. We are going to like make it make it like slowly turn everything into good bases. What's even Anime below bases. here? What's this? What's this grassy, dirty area? What's that? I didn't build it. Quit it. I said, it's what? Perfect. What is that down there? It's grass and sand and dirt and gravel. I know, but what's below it? Why'd you build it so high? I don't know. Ask him it. If you grab sand remotely near us, you better replace it with dirt or I'll kill you. And to get See, look, I'm, I'm even being nice. I'm filling the area near your base with torches. No, I hate torches. Torches are my least favorite. All the underwater candy. I really Whoa, don't care about it's so, them. like, deep down there. Usually means there, there's those caves and cliffs. Uh, things near it. Like, I can see diamonds down in this water. Wait, can you really? No. No, I, I can see. I, there probably are diamonds, though. I don't want to go that deep. I, I don't want to until I have a company. We do have a sugar cane farm, but it is very midgety. Annoying. Hey, do you have some iron I you can give me? I have four iron total, and that's it, so no. I don't have, like, any iron. I wasted it all. Mining. I'm going to go mining over here, because over here is, like, level 60 something, so it's not... No, don't don't mine around this area. Mining at like level one hundred something, so there's no point as, aside from if you're purposely going to lush cave because you don't get any diamonds. You only find copper and coal, and it's still you just feel where so many monsters spawn. So yeah, your area around your base is nice. I like this, but I'm not. We're well, gonna cover this entire area. That's, that's the point. You're gonna cover the lake? I like the lake. Well, we're not gonna cover it, but we're just gonna like have like bases afloat and stuff all over it. Okay, well, I think this will be cool. I'm gonna come back like in like maybe maybe in like when when do you think you'll have another expanded area? Well, we already we are added a bridge to the mine, and then now we're making the farm part. So I don't know. Hey, baby. 
Baby ego. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put that in my episode, you being like randomly saying, Hey, baby. Baby Figo. So, right? So, you're expanding. So, could I could I have like a little no. base over here like, connected? Just no. Myself. No. Please? Um, no. Hey, no. I, I was gonna use this. This is probably gonna go really to our sword system. No, like no, no. Anywhere in this lake, I just want a little connection to your base. Just no. Please, like, like an embassy. Please, okay. Five, 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 six diamonds per 10 by 10 square. Uh, that we agree to. Yeah. No, probably more like a 10 diamonds for a 10 by 10. Okay, wait, how big is this a 10 by 10 square right here? Well, is it 10 blocks by 10 blocks? No, so we get to pick the spot. It's a spot that we both agree on. Um, you don't need to do whatever spot. Okay. I might do that. Uh, can I buy it, like, a little bit later in the season? Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'll well, do that. It's not available for purchase right now. Really? Yeah, I don't want to buy it right now either, because I don't have enough. Do you have some food for me? No, I'm broke. I have... What if I gave you some moss? I don't care about moss. What if I gave you, a, um, uh, dark oak saplings? No. Birch saplings? Do you have any iron? No. Uh, what if I gave you low berries? I'll trade a stack of planks. Oh, oh I, I dropped my food. I'll trade a stack of planks for one fish. No. Um, I'll give you. I'll give you glow berries. Oh, that's food. No, I'll give you glow berries. Yeah. No, I don't want glow berries. You can eat glow berries. What about flowering azaleas? I'll give you slime balls. No, I don't want anything like that. Uh, dri big drip leaves. No. Uh, magenta dye. No. Um, a wood axe. No, if you, if you do not leave, you annoying salesperson, I will smack, smack you with my sword. No, please don't. Please. Please, I'm I going. I'm going. Bye. Goodbye, people. Um, wait, what's your, what's your, what's your base name? What's your base name? Gotta have a base name. My base name is Mount Shashkana. What's yours? I will smack you. No, no, no. What's that? That is my chicken. That is my pet chicken. I was gonna use him. There, I, I gave you a baby farm. chicken. I tried to give you a baby chicken in replace of a, on, in replace of a chicken. Please, let me go. Let me go. Please. I'm too young to die. I will follow you until you are out of the premise. What's the premise? Uh, what, what I agree. Is this out of the premise? Uh, if you keep going. I kept going. I got it. I got to stop to got to stop to smell food. Well, I certainly remember him being a lot nicer and more pleasant. Now he's just like a mean old cranky grandpa who who's like last season he was doing amazing deals with me. This season he's like, "Get off my property. I hate your overhang. Your your just get off." And I was doing nothing wrong. He even once accused me of stealing his diamonds. I didn't steal his diamonds. Or he said I was going to steal his diamonds or something. Like, no. I'm a nice person. I wouldn't do that. But him, on the other hand, now he might be the one I'm thinking about. I might actually think about stealing diamonds from him now, based on how mean he's been. He's, like, he's one of those old people. Not like your, not like your grandpa that you want to hug, but, like, that old person you see on the street on, like, a park bench. And they're, like, playing cards, but then you look at him, and he only has one eye, and he's like, eh, I hate you, kid. You're up to no good. Oh, no, no, it says on this sign, don't steal. You are at my mountain. Get out of here. You're at my mountain. Right, hold on, I'm going to go to bed, and then you want to see my base? Yeah. Um... What? You don't like it? I want to see if you're telling the truth that you can see my tower. So, I mean, if you come, look, over here. Ready? Come. Where? Come. Here? Uh, no, come here. Um. Oh, dang it, I died. Hey, uh, don't, could you? Here, I won't touch your stuff. Everything's right there. Did you affect it? No. Cause I can't find my diamond sword. I didn't. I didn't touch anything. 
That's why I ran away, so you wouldn't tell me. Like, did you touch it? I'm gonna go searching and check. Ranger distance could cause a low frame rate. Oh, then do 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 thir do thir do thirteen then instead of eighteen. Thirteen's what I have because I can see really far still. Yeah. Okay, bye. Wow. Bye. It's not fair. Their base keeps expanding. My base stays the same. At least I'm catching up by making some diamond tools. All I need is one, well, four more blocks to finish my interior. So I need to get to the mesa, which ha the jungle happens to be along the way. So why not grab some of these melon seeds, line melons as I go and some jungle wood and maybe even try to get a sapling uh if we can on our way there you know for the convenience of it so we don't have to come back here for a long time and okay here i want to show you guys something ready so as we come up here if we if we look over here look at how huge this is so i was saying that went up to the height limit i think almost 100 percent that this goes to height limit and i can see the mess from here so I'm actually debating. This could be where my final base goes. Somewhere in this area with this huge mountain. The jungle's right here. The mess is right here. And uh, I don't want to give away too much about my base if, in case my plans are ruined like they were last season with everybody quitting. But this is probably where I'm going to want to build it. Okay, see, look at this. It's like a cinematic view with everything. i got to take screenshots. But I need to be gathering some terracotta because that's what I need to put in my interior to finish this off this build so let's just grab a few more pieces of terracotta and yeah yep yeah, this is it look look at this view like this is exactly where my uh my next base has got to go it's just got to go right smack dab somewhere around here because it is amazingly beautiful so now yep let's let's get back so i can show you the interior it's comical at this point how much stuff they've added. Look, they added another building. So now that the base is fully complete, what do you say I give you a full tour of the interior? But we gotta kill this zombie, because you know how annoying zombies can be when you're trying to do something for a YouTube video. So I actually put in some glass. I would like a different color, but that's fine. And then we got some brick-like couches. Well, they're like chairs, I guess. Um, and that's where the terracotta needed. Just see, Just for a few of those blocks. And... Uh, I got some barrels, so extra storage along the walls, and some azalea plants, and I like to put, like, banners, and it'll make a cool design to make, like, pillows on the couch, but that's still a work in progress, and then we got a bit more terracotta, so I could make a little bit more use of that, and we got a little bed over here, and I'm actually a fan of this. I think it's turned out better than my last season's interior, and I'm not gonna be living in this space too long, but it's nice for how long I've been, how long I'm going to live in it, and so... That's all I have for today. It's longer than my last season's episodes, but I still hope it wasn't too long for you guys. And if it is, you can still dislike this video if you want. I can try to make it I can try to cut it down for you. But for one the, well for the first time actually on this season of Garrettcraft, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.